friends and welcome to the channel today I'm going to show you how to fix uh, Samsung s23 ultra it doesn't charge properly it sometimes charges sometimes doesn't so let's start by opening the phone up so let's take off the sim tray first and uh, I've already heated up the back glass so I can take it off so what I need to do now is make a small gap on the top hand corner of the phone here so when I make a small gap I'm going to insert my plastic tool which makes it more easy for me not to damage the back glass and just walk your way across the length of the phone and once you more or less got one side lifted up then it's pretty simple just give it a nice walk around and then it lifts off very easily so this is the first time the phone is being opened so once that is off we need to take this glue so I'm just going to lift this on the hot plate so I can take it off at a later time so what I need to do is take off this plate and this particular in the bottom so this one I'm taking off <coughs> sorry to disconnect the battery so take the screws off and then we'll take the bottom loudspeaker off and then we'll take the charging port off so as you can see the screws on the top have been taken off disconnect this flex try and be careful not to damage any other flex or components underneath so as you can see there are some components here and disconnect this one and then take it off uh, mind you this is slightly glued to the camera here so take this one off and also mind that you do not touch the camera lenses uh, or you can have fingerprint marks on it so uh, now that we got access to the battery connector we can disconnect the battery connector so be careful that you don't damage any other components next to it so what I'm going to replace now is a charging port so this is the new charging port I've got so this one comes with this protective covering if you don't take this off your microphone won't work so take this one off keep it on the side please and now we are going to take off the screws on the loudspeaker so as you can see the video is in normal speed and uh, it's pretty simple the few screws are going to hold on to the loudspeaker so once they are off we can take off the loudspeaker on it so there's a small gap here insert your tool in this particular gap and then lift it up oops lift it up on this side and then lift it up on this side so just going to take the screw which went in there you go battery disconnected so what you can do now is <coughs> disconnect this flex here and disconnect this flex here for you to make it easy you can disconnect it even from the top and even from the top here so once this two flexes are off you can keep them aside and we got three screws which are holding the charging port so take the three screws off there you go and take off the port and this is the new port we are going to insert it in so insert it this way make sure it's aligned and then you could push it in with the help of the screwdriver the screws holes are pretty strong so you could put a bit of a force onto that so once you have that in place put on the three screws and then you can put the flexes on there you go similar here there you go you have a click sound try and align them properly before you press them down please there you go two clicks is all you need and then we will connect our battery connector there you go so now we have to put on the loudspeaker put all the screws
perfect and now we will put this last bit which is the wireless antenna flex and then press it down there you go make sure it's it's pressed down properly and put on the screws all the screws on this and the last screw here so just fast forwarded by two or three screws so now we need to put on the back back adhesive on the back glass so this is a new back cover adhesive back glass adhesive and uh, this is the old one that I have so just take this one off it's pretty simple to take it off there you go folks it's off quite easily All right, so now that we have got this one off, we can apply the adhesive on the phone. And I'm just checking for any dust marks on the lens, which is clear for now. So align this holes with the screws and you're gonna have a nice snug fit on it. I'm using the original back cover adhesive which helps or which prevents any water going in this is the the one you need to use if you use the non-genuine one then the water resistance of the phone is compromised so this adhesive is pretty good it is the same exact one which the company uses so just uh, give it a nice stick down press it down and it's gonna stick by itself so just work your way across all the sides of the phone and once it's been pressed down you can just lift it off so as you can see the glue has been applied uh, one last glance at the camera lenses if there's no dust on it and was one last glance if there's any dust on the camera lenses once you have it in place just press it down from the top here and there you go so then press it down fully on all the sides just give it a nice strong press down and there you go so the phone has been fixed the, the charging port has been replaced so I'm just going to put on my charging connector on it there you go and it should come up with a charging symbol there you go well guys, thank you for watching and please subscribe. See you, bye bye.